in the West End National League. But first, something a bit different. At least, that's one way to describe the man who's set to become the next player to join the NSL's 200 club. After 18 games for Brisbane City, 89 for Sydney City, the colourful 28-year-old Tony Pisano yesterday chalked up his 77th NSL appearance for Apia, giving him a grand total of 184 matches in the toughest soccer competition in the country. He's talking to Peter Wilkins. Tony, 12 years in the game, that's a long time. You've seen some changes, or have you? Yeah, Peter, there's been obviously plenty of changes in 12 years, you know, um, as far as a lot more locally played players are playing now. Um, you know, we used to rely on a lot of imports, especially from Britain and Yugoslavia and places like that. But, you know, like, we're sort of producing young boys now that are coming through, and they're not that young now. They're, they're in their 20s, you know, and they're playing first team. They're playing in the Aussie team. You know, it's good. It's been good. What about the speed of the game? I don't know. The, the speed of it's, you know, it's always been, you know, it's pretty, like people won't say from the sidelines, oh, you know, it's not like the same as in Britain or in Italy because of the pace of, of it there, but it's quite quick out here, you know, and it's getting better. It's not, you know, it's not going backwards, it's getting better. And what about the speed of T. Pisano? How have you uh, progressed over the years? That's getting a little bit slower, you know, but uh, I think too many restaurants for that. But, um, you know, I've progressed well. You know, I've, I've been happy. I'm just, you know, glad that, we're here 12 years after I made my debut and I can still talk about soccer and still be actively involved, you know. Is there a hole left in your ambition? What have you left to prove? I want to I wanna win championships. That's the one thing that's kept me going more than anything, you know. Like, it's certainly not been the money. It's not been um, getting out in the park and sometimes playing in front of, you know, a couple hundred people um, or in, in front of big crowds. The, the thing that keeps me going is at the end of the year, a trophy at the end of the, you know, at the end of the season is what it's all about for me. You've always been a bit of a shaman. Does that uh, keep you going? Does that keep you going? Then? Yeah, Eddie Thompson said to me, he said, son, if you can't play good, make sure you look good. You know, so, no, but that's just part of the game. I, I don't do it intentionally or, or, or anything, you know. It's just probably a bit of the Italian in me. <laughs> well, you just made the game on the weekend. Uh, is uh, that a result of business becoming more important than soccer these days? People say that we're out in the park to entertain. We are on the park to entertain, but I think the average spectator doesn't realise that we really put away a lot of time to this football. And, and if we say, oh, yeah, we look good and we played good, but we didn't win, that's a lot of rubbish because to any player at all, winning is everything. Captaining aside, what's that done for your game? Oh, it's been all right. You know, I've got a couple of young boys in Cosmina and O'Connor and, and Hagen to look after. You know, they, they're a handful, but um, actually it's been... It's been completely new and, and, and it's good I, I actually like it you know having someone like John and Steve in there players that I used to sit on my father's shoulders and watch them play and now you know you try you, know, you try to be a captain to them but they still tell you where to go sometimes <laughs> and what about uh, off the field your business interest some people say you're a millionaire how's that going oh yeah <laughs> I've got a tax man anywhere it, business goes well you know you, you take your chances you know, sometimes you do well, sometimes you don't do well. Fortunately, you know, a couple of lucky breaks have gone my way and, it, you know, it's been all right. And you're good at spending it too. I like to spend a bit, yeah, you know, I like, I like, I like the good things. I think, you know, everyone in Australia would like to be able to do the good things. I certainly don't, you know, hold back. I don't. Yes, Tony Pisano talking to Peter Wilkins. Uh, nothing tongue-in-cheek about that interview, I'm sure. Certainly talks like a millionaire, anyhow. Well, so to Arpia's match at Olympic Village yesterday against uh, struggling Heidelberg. Arpia, unbeaten since round eight, still alive in its defence of the NSL Cup and with league games in hand, is sitting pretty for an assault on the final five. Heidelberg, despite snapping up Jeff Olver to stand in goal, remains in big trouble, running out of games and already looking at the welcome home mat of the Victorian State League. At Olympic Village, where Arpia hasn't won since 1979, Mike Hill. Well, there's an air of gloom here at the Olympic Village for the Heidelberg Alexandra Warriors. At the moment, they are bottom of the National Soccer League. They must get two points today if they're to climb away from the relegation zone. Well, good news for Heidelberg is the arrival of that man, Paul McDowell, the younger brother of Gary McDowell. He's joined Heidelberg this week from the Scottish club East Fife. While Paul McDowell makes his first appearance, John Cosmina today makes his 276th appearance in the West End National Soccer League. In those appearances, he scored 130 goals, three of them currently this season. Our referee this afternoon is Dave Wilcox, who comes from Canberra. 
36 years old, his first season on the National Soccer League panel. So a desperate match this afternoon for Heidelberg, who find themselves right at the bottom of the league. Arpia Leichhardt coming into this match in sixth spot. Heidelberg, a win really essential if they're to get away from the relegation zone. Now Pedro Ricoy. Arpia signed during the off-season from St George. That one was well intercepted though by Alan Scott. Radler Savlovic. Another free kick to Arpia. Now Mark Brown. Cosmina. Holding the ball so well, Johnny Cosmina gets the return there from Bandalo. Face now by McDowell. Johnny Cosmina. Challenge came in from Paul McDowell and Nicholas Olkus. So Mark Brown with the throw. Now Pedro Ricoy. Mark Brown again. I send this one across. Rod Brown was the player waiting at the far post. Way there by Paul McDowell. Craig Mason tries the shot. And Jeff Olver there collects it at the second attempt. Craig Mason signed at the start of this season from Marconi. And really testing there, Jeff Olver. It's a shot that the goalkeeper would have seen late. Craig Mason really hammered this, and Jeff Olver there grabs it at the second attempt. Jim play there and picking out John Stewart. Good run from Stewart, getting that one across. Away though by Mark Brown. Bordignon. Now Stewart. Allen can clear to the way from the danger area. So I throw to Heidelberg on that far side. Arthur Yanakopoulos, player who in fact was born here in Australia, who's been playing over in Greece. This afternoon making his National Soccer League debut. Just walked into the ground in fact a few weeks ago and asked for a trial. And certainly has impressed the coach. Canasoulis, Stevenson just spreading it wide. Phil Stubbins tries the shot, they take the deflection away for a corner. So Heidelberg get their first corner of the afternoon, coming after 22 minutes. The shot there from Phil Stubbins was deflected by Bruce Halliday. So Tony Fazzano now will organise his defenders. Jenna Coppolis has come forward for Heidelberg, so is Paul McDowell. Plenty of height for them this week. This one comes across. It eludes everybody and nobody could get a touch. Stevenson was the player flying in. He just failed to get a touch. Now Tredenic. McDowell. And Stevenson, in fact, was in offside position, but there was a le lucky let off there for Arpia as this corner comes across. And Stuart Stevenson's the player coming in at the far post. A flying attempt there at a header. Just can't get the touch. And the ball goes away to safety. Now Halliday. It goes all the way through for Jeffrey Olver, who really hasn't been tested so far. Now Stewart. Stubbins. Now Stevenson, it's there by Allen. Still Stevenson, good ball inside, Stubbins. The idea was right, the execution wasn't. But there was some lovely play there by Stuart Stevenson, which is applauded by Phil Stubbins. Stevenson held the ball, turned, twisted, and just laid it inside into the path of Phil Stubbins, rushed the shot slightly, always rising, and never going to worry Tony Pisano. Cosmina who's beaten in the air by Paul McDowell who was doing some pushing so a free kick to Arpia Paul McDowell the younger brother of Gary McDowell good news for Heidelberg is that Gary McDowell should be back in a couple of weeks as that's a handball and a penalty is given came off the hands of Phil Stubbins 
and there really can be very little argument about that. Up here, they're trying to get the ball across, and Stubbins, the player chasing back, clearly comes off his arm. And the referee was ideally placed, had no hesitation, and pointed immediately to the penalty spot. So an opportunity now for Arpia to take the lead after 26 minutes. Jeffrey Olver, who's a bit of a penalty expert, in fact, one remembers a couple of seasons ago when he saved penalties for Australia against Everton, also in the President's Cup in Korea. He now faces his old soccer roommate, John Cosmina. Cosmina with a penalty and scores. So John Cosmina breaks the deadlock here at the Olympic Village from the penalty spot. For John Cosmina, the goal number four of the season, beating Jeff Olver. For John Cosmina, who takes a penalty so well, steps up, Jeff Olver guessed the right way, but he couldn't keep it out. And 26 minutes gone in the first half. Heidelberg United nil, Arpia Leichhardt won. Stewart again picking up the crumbs. Ordignon. Stewart has made a good run. Still Stewart playing it into space. And away by Craig Mason. Phil Stubbins was the player making the charge at the far side. And away there by Craig Mason. Another player with a lot of experience. 216 matches now in the National Soccer League. So a throw for Heidelberg. Taken by Peter Trudenic. Trudenic with the throw, the glancing header on. Away there by Halliday. Off the head of Brian Ellum. So another throw for Heidelberg. As we come into the final five minutes of this first half. Trudenic with the throw. Now Canasoulis. Still John Canasoulis. Craig Mason's the player with him. Canasoulis trying to make that yard of space to get the cross in, but he's won a corner. So John Canasoulis, 23 years old. Australian Youth International, two appearances in the green and gold. Back in 1985 in the World Youth Championships qualifying matches. In those two appearances, he scored one goal. That was against Papua New Guinea. He'll take this corner. Into the far post, fisted away there by Pisano. Asolkas nods it back in. And Paul McDowell tries the back header. And heads it high and wide. But Paul McDowell, the 23-year-old, signed from East Fife, making his presence felt there as the corner came across. It was hit to the far post, nodded back in, and McDowell there tries the flick header back. Finishes up high and wide. Now Canasoulis. Stewart breaks down for Heidelberg and now Stubbins he's got space on that far side Stewart Stevenson the only player up in support now John Stewart's come up to help this is Stewart now Stubbins the offside flag up but he's denied and in case by a brilliant save from Tony Pisano Tony Pisano they're having a word with the linesman never short of a word Tony Pisano it was a good build-up from Heidelberg, and Stubbins there just fractionally offside, but he really volleyed this. Brought the best out of the Arpia keeper. As the half-time whistle goes, first half that hasn't lifted the gloom here at Olympic Village from this Heidelberg side. They went behind after 26 minutes. The goal being scored by John Cosmina from the penalty spot. It's the goal that separates the two sides. The half-time scoreline, Heidelberg United nil. Arpia Leichard won. Well, clouds still hang over the Heidelberg United side and the Olympic Village. As Arpia get the second half underway, now kicking from left to right. As Heidelberg now goes searching for an equaliser during the half-time break. They've made one substitution. Now Stevenson, played by Radla Savlovich. Canasoulis. Gatra Denik. This is Brian Ellum. Pedro Ricoy. Placed there by Paul McDowell. Still Ricoy.
Brought Brown. Brought down there by Janakopoulos. Peter Bordignon is the player who's gone off for Heidelberg during the half-time break. So a free kick to Arpia. So Kevin Hagen, Alex Mandalo, the players over the ball. So Kevin Hagen floating this one in. Bruce Halliday trying to make a run at the far post. Just misjudged it slightly. Kevin Hagen, 31 years old, the former New Zealand international. Stubbins, Sulkus, now Stevenson, trying the shot, it's charged down. Stevenson there, looking for the penalty. Stuart Stevenson there, disappointed. Hit it straight at the player, and I think the first appeal was for a penalty for handball. And then seemed to run into the player. Referee, who's ideally placed, will have none of it. All it results in is a corner for Heidelberg. It's been taken by John Canasoulis. Janakopoulos was the player forward. Away, though, by Vandalo. It's time for a throw-in. Tony Pizzano under a bit of pressure at the moment. And John Canasoulis. Pizzotis. Free kick to Heidelberg. Pushing there by Mark Brown and Alex Mandalo. So again, Tony Pizzano talking to his defenders. John Canasoulis with the free kick. Paul McDowell was the player forward. Here's the equaliser, and it's scored by Phil Stubbins. The goal coming after nine minutes of the second half. The free kick came in from John Canasoulis. Paul McDowell there, climbed so well. Got the best of headers, but Phil Stubbins with his back to goal, swings round. Here's this one so sweetly, past Tony Pisano. Nine minutes into the second half, Phil Stubbins the goal scorer. Heidelberg United won. Arpia Leichhardt won.